Hey guys, how's it going? Lone Wolf Lock Picking here. Just wanted to jump on this evening and try to pick this challenge lock for you guys. And this lock is called Free Lock, pinned by Washington State Picker. Looks like on 9-29-18, I believe. It is made on a Corbin Ruswin LFIC <clears throat> a lock. With some pretty wicked bidding there. So, let's see if we can't get this guy open, and I'll show you the innards. First off, I'm going to take uh, my middle size bottom of the keyway tensioner and put it like that so I don't tear the uh, <clears throat> keyway up on that guy. I'm going to be using a 50 thousandths pry bar from, I believe, Sparrows, I think. And I'm going to start out with a uh, short hook from the Praxis kit and 23 thousandths. So, let's zoom in here. I already got the mark on there. Okay. We're going to go clockwise with the tension, because that's what I made the mark for. Click on one. Okay. Click on one. Click on two, and then on three. Start back at one here. One. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Click on four, nothing on five. <clears throat> Believe I click on six. I don't think this is going to be deep enough. We're going to try this deep sparrows hook in twenty thousandths. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three. Nothing on four. Nothing on five. <clears throat> nothing on one, nothing on two. Nothing on three, nothing on four, nothing on five. Oh, come on. I can't get it up around the turn. Keep dropping pins. Nothing on one. <clears throat> Click on two, I think. Click on three. Oh, and we got an open. So it took about four minutes and thirty seconds. Let's see if we can't get this gutted. Let's see what's inside. Keep it in the frame. Okay. Go ahead and lock it back up since we got the key. Ok, 
Okay. Grab a shim. Not wanting to give in. Okay, so we're going to try without the shim. <clears throat> okay. So there's the key pins. Looks like they're pretty much all homemade. There's one, two, three, four. Five and six. I don't think there's anything done to the core. Nothing on one, nothing on two, nothing on three, four, five. So the core is stock. And the bidding on this lock is straight from Satan himself. Alright, let's see what we got up in the Bible. Nice serrated. A little steel spring. Another serrated. tricky to get these springs out of there because that LFIC core part. A little short serrated there. I'll get the springs out here in a minute. Another serrated with some deeper water serrations. Turn around to the back side. Nice a deep spool there. Last but not least, another serrated. Go ahead and try to get these springs out. There's five. Nice uh, brass spring. Try six. Yep, uh, steel spring. Short steel spring. Ooh. <clears throat> Okay, now we can pull this guy out and see the springs. So this was four, three, and two. Okay. Set that down, give you guys a close up. <clears throat> so for the key pins, you got number one serrated, two serrated, three serrated, four serrated, five a spool element and then a serration, and six a serrated. And then key pins, one and two serrated, three serrated, four serrated, five serrated. And then six is a spool. <clears throat> the springs, one is steel, two brass, three, four steel, five brass, six steel. Some very nice pins here. It was a very, very tricky lock, which the LFIC versions always make it a little more interesting because you got some more moving elements and stuff to catch on uh, the T pin or the, the serrations and stuff. But, yep, that was a pretty good luck. Thanks again to Washington State Picker. I will uh, put his link in the description. And I will see you guys next time.
Have a good one.